Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, stopping by for the first time, awesome, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. My name's Elizabeth and my channel name is Shytown town Girl. I have a brand new Dollar Tree haul to share with all of you. It's late, um, I don't even know what time it is. It's probably almost 1 a.m. Um, that's on the East Coast, so it's Saturday morning already. And um, yeah, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> I'm just like, you know what? I had some stuff left over from my haul from Friday night and I just wanted to get right into it. I know there's something here for you to add to your wish list. Um, every single item in this video, a buck and a coin, a dollar twenty-five. Every single item in this video, same locations throughout HV, the Hudson Valley, in the state of New York, and that's where I'm currently at. All right, so yeah, it's late. Um, I have my fan going because I don't know what it was. I don't just, uh, you know, I've been having this migraine for over a week now, and unfortunately, this is normal for me. Um, they happen. I've been dealing with migraines since I was 13 years old. Been through all the tests, had all the stuff on my head, and been in all the machines, and they could never figure figure it out, really. It's weird. At first, they thought I had cluster headaches, and then, you know, it was like migraines, and I've had all different types of medication, and it's just like nothing really works. Nothing works. And a lot of the medications they do try to give me get me sick to my stomach. So, I just tried to uh, basically, you know, let them roll their course. Um, I still have a bit in the back of my neck, and I think that's pretty much tension. Um, I do got lots of things going on. We all do in our worlds, you know. Um, nobody's got nothing going on. We all got something going on more than others. So, um, it's uh, Saturday. I'm going to be getting up early. Um, I don't even know what time I'm going to go to bed yet, though, but hoping to... Um, go to a Dollar Tree and um, maybe it's farmer's market and uh, I'm not sure we'll see um, for those of you that do follow my channel the meatloaf was amazing mashed potatoes I made um, gravy um, I had fresh zucchini from the garden chopped that up and egg washed it with flour and bread uh, no flour excuse me egg washed it with breadcrumbs and uh made some of that yeah it was a really good dinner <laughs> really really good all right so enough of that let's get into this dollar tree haul all right so i'm gonna start off with um some socks <laughs> I can do that right at one in the morning. I can show some socks on my channel. All right, I just got a few more pairs to show with you. All right, so these are going to be adult socks and these are Don't Let Go My Ego or Let Go My Ego is more like it. So I found the Egos finally. They were on my wish list. Um, it seems like I've shown, I lost count of how many pairs of socks I've shared with all of you. But every time I think I have like one of each one, I find another one. All right, how about nerd? Not nerd, oh my gosh. <laughs> how about nerf? And uh, these are men's, or I should say adult size socks, and we have nerf. There's the front, <clears throat> excuse me, and there is the back. Now, how about Pez? I love my Pez. I have all kinds of Pez dispensers around, but just, this one that I could reach. Here's my little purple cupcake. I love my Pez, guys. All right, so here we have Pez. These are in adult sizes as well. Last pair I'm gonna share with you, and this is adult size as well, and these are Angry Birds. I hadn't seen them, so I had to grab me those. All righty, so away from the sock department we go. Let's go over to where you would get your bath scrunchies, your face masks, things, and stuff like that. I saw these and I thought these were really cute. Um, I'm hoping they're just as nice on the back as they look in the front because you can't really see. I picked up two. They're by Spa April Bath and Shower. They are eye masks. The first one says, wake me up for brunch. How cute is that? It's great if you're building like someone a little beauty basket and you toss one of those in there. And then I saw this one that just simply says, not today. So I'm gonna get into this and see if they feel as good as they look. 
So they're definitely very soft. Wow. Okay, so you have quite a bit going on here. This is definitely going to fit a bigger head if you have one. Just going to take my glasses off for a second. Extremely comfortable. Peekaboo. Extremely comfortable. Um, very, very soft. I don't think I'd be feeling anything with this being up against my head. So, yeah, I'm totally digging that. Again, they had a couple other sayings. I don't remember off the top of my head what they were. But um, this is really cute, too, in that nice um, minty green color. Alrighty, moving on. They had some face masks, too, for a buck and a coin. Fantastic deal. Fantastic. Freeman Neon Vibes Peel Off Mask Gel Lit Illuminating with Joji, is it Goji Berry? I might be saying that wrong, but you're getting two in the package for that buck and a coin. That is a deal. The next one by Freeman as well. This one is Freeman's Peeling Beautiful Rejuvenating Cucumber and Pink Salt clay mask i've never seen this one before again you're getting two in that package i don't know if you can see the two right there but even if you you know if you are on a budget which a lot of us are we're we're on budgets i mean you go food shopping and you're lucky to get two brown paper bags for a hundred bucks and that's like that's a real thing here in new york anyways if you wanted to you, if you're shopping on a budget, open this up. Now you've got one for mom, maybe one for your sister. You know, split your things up. If you can get more for that buck and a coin than you normally do, then it's totally, totally worth it, in my opinion. All right, moving on here. In the makeup department, oh my goodness, they are bringing out so many cutesy, cutesy things. All right, we have... A little bit of Disney going on here. Now, where shall I start? Let's start here. How about a little bit of Alice in Wonderland? Wow, what a blast. So they have this and it's by Disney. Disney's Alice in Wonderland. This is a lip gloss. It does not tell me if it is flavored or scented. So I am going to do the assume and say it is not. What a cute little gift for that little one getting into makeup. You know, that time of the year is coming around. How about to match? This one here is Disney's Alice in Wonderland Golden Afternoon Lip Gloss. This one is Cherry. And it's high shine, long lasting, and ultra hydrating. There it is, right there. So cute. And it's not only the packaging, but the actual tube has her on there as well. Another item that I found that matches by Disney's Alice in Wonderland, I'm Late Shimmer Lip Gloss. This is so cute. And here it is right there i know exactly who these are going to go to i have somebody absolutely perfect in mind that i think will love them all right so staying with disney how about the disney's little mermaid disney's princess b shell fishless fish viciously viciously fabulous that's a tongue twister B Shell Ficiously Fabulous Shimmer Lip Gloss Ultra Shine Ultra Hydrating in the Little Mermaid. There it is right there. And you can see she's on the packaging here. And then she's actually on the container right there. Then how about if we pop over to Miss Cinderella. Cinderella. Princess Shine Like a Gloss Slipper Shimmer Lip Gloss. This looks really pretty. Should we get into this one? Let's check this color out. Let's see, let's see. We have to try at least one. 
All right, so these are Disney products. <clears throat> Hopefully that fan in the background is not drowning my big mouth out. I doubt it though. Look at that tube. Isn't that adorable? For someone who collects makeups and things like that, too, too cute. All right, so I'm just gonna give it a few pumps here so we can get some color. There's the wand. This looks like it's gonna be pretty. Here we go. So it's a gloss, but I just wanted to put a couple more swipes and make it thicker. Look how pretty that is. That would be lovely for fall going into the change of the season here in the Hudson Valley. The leaves are changing. And if you even just look up Hudson Valley online, New York State, um, you'll get an idea of the leaves that we get here. It's amazing. It's so beautiful here. It's crazy beautiful. The apples, everything is off the hook right now. All right, also by Disney, this is a shimmer lip gloss hydrating shine and this is cinderella as well and it looks just like this this would be such a cute cute set to be giving away to some little one for christmas or something oh my gosh how cute all right let's stay with makeup here for just a moment i found this by be pure it's a dual cream eyeshadow, swipe, shimmer, and go. Bada bing, bada boom. It says long lasting and with vitamin E. Kind of cool packaging. I thought, all right, well, this looks different. Let's check it out together. The weather here is supposed to be really, really nice here this weekend in the Hudson Valley. Actually, it feels more like summer here now. This is kind of cool. First of all, I'm digging this packaging. Look at this. So it looks like that's how you move the product up and down. We're going to find out together. So we're going to pull the cap off. So it's plastic cap. And then it looks like that is the dual eyeshadow. And this must be how we move it up and down. We're going to find out. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Very bronzy and coppery. Now, I wiped that lip gloss off. So we're just going to do a swipe here. Actually, I'm going to do a couple so you can see it on my skin. Oh, oh, that's nice. Look at that, how you get that dual combo right there. With just, I kind of, let me just do one strip. There it is. That's pretty. I like these kinds of colors. Now, they're saying, where did I do with the package? They're saying, um, actually, they're really not saying. You know, something like this, this is an eyeshadow, okay? But you know what? You can put it other places if you want to. You could, I don't see why you couldn't use that as a contour if need be. Now, I'm going to push the mechanism back down because I'm just curious if that shadow is going to go back down. Oh, thank God it did. And there was a little pop here. I'm not, I'm not sure if you heard that. Let me try it again. I want you to hear how it just clicks back together. That's important. The product's safe cap goes on nice it's got like two little balls here on the end that's going to keep that cap on well so that means something to me because when i'm tossing that in my makeup bag i don't want to end up with makeup everywhere i mean i already do now by some of my products but uh i don't want to have it happen if it doesn't have to happen Does that make sense yeah okay moving on with makeup also by be pure these were new to me glow up highlighters and i found one in sparkling rose and i found one in the color bronze i was like "Ooh, let's try the bronze one let's give it a check here all right so it looks like it has like a little spongy applicator here on the back on the bottom i should say decent sized tube there's our tube we're gonna pop her open It looks like a little bingo dabber. <laughs> I miss playing bingo with my mom. Hmm. All right, so let me dab this a few times. I'm assuming I probably should squeeze a little to get the product going down into the tube. That's smart, Beth. Okay, so bear with me a moment. I'm glad that I have to work the product down to the tube because if I didn't, then somebody else would have been in here and I wouldn't be happy. 
All right, here it comes. It's coming. Here it comes. All right, let me just squeeze. Here we go. So do you see that little dab? So let me smooth it out a little bit. I just made a circle. And the reason I did that, I was hoping it was going to show up, and there it is. Highlighters, perfect for anywhere. Um, you can use it on the tip of your nose, on an eye cheek, um, the cleavage area, the shoulders. Um, you know, if you've got a party going on downtown, use it in that area. Who, who cares? Use it where you want a little bit of pot. <laughs> All right, so that was the first color in bronze. Let's check out the one in sparkling rose because I'm curious if it is as dark as it appears in the tube uh, because there is quite a color difference there. I'm not sure if you're seeing it too well on camera, but I just want to try it for me. So I'm just going to get it going real quick here. Yeah, it's definitely darker, and I'm going to give you a circle right next to the other circle. There you go. So you can see this one has more of a coppery type of color. This one, you've got more of a white. Uh, it's picking up more of the white and beige champagne kind of colors. All right, those are cool. I love to play with these kinds of things. All right, moving on in the makeup department. Now, these were um, in a bin in the makeup department. I had never seen this bin before. It was like a random bin and they had probably 50 tubes of each of this. And I had bought this before and gave it to someone else and I didn't keep any for me. So this was on my wish list. Spa Centrals, the repair smoothing foot cream with vitamin C and shea butter, four fluid ounces. Then they had the four fluid ounces in the Spa Centrals. This is with brown sugar and almond oil. Now. Do you want to know if it has a cap besides the cap, a protective cap? It surely does. That's a big deal for me. It's important for me because if it didn't, how many other people are going to open it up? And yeah, you want to know what it smells like, but you're going to want to open it up. That's why I wish they would bring testers back. However, in the defense of the stores, I've worked retail a lot. Um, I was a manager of a cosmetic department in a retail store many years ago and we had all the testers in the world and let me tell you between people you know breaking them damaging them putting them in the wrong place they were always a mess so I totally get that but I also believe if you get a chance to smell something or taste something you're gonna be more you know inclined to buy it because I feel like Frank Barone when he goes to the grocery store and he sticks his hand in for some trail mix and then he gets into a big fight with his granddaughter and you know it happens but I really think if you get an opportunity to try something don't you think you'd be more inclined to buy it if you tried it but then on the opposite side you're gonna buy something and try it and how many people are just gonna throw it away or get rid of it but that still made them money so it's a, a roundabout kind of thing any way you look at it how about a couple of sweets and treats? Actually, it's just a bag of Coastal Bay Starlight Mints. Um, I get these when they come out. These are made in Argentina. You know, I, I used to worry about, I only wanted Brock's, Brock's, Brock's. But you know what? I go to restaurants and they have bowls of mints. And I don't know where they're coming from. As long as they taste good, they're made of sugar and not something else funky. I'm totally down with it. The next thing that I came across in snack zone is a bonus pack of 50 more crunchy cravings sesame chips, honey roasted. It's a four ounce package, no MSG, no artificial flavors. What's good about these? I don't know about you guys, how you eat them, if you eat them maybe by themselves, but these are good in salads. Is it me? But I like to sprinkle some of these in a salad. Um, they taste kind of yum, yum, yum. The other thing that I came across, now, I love my British English tea. However, um, I'm not a chai, drink, chai tea drinker. Um, I haven't really tried it to say I like it or I don't. I just kind of stuck with what I was raised with. But I do know someone that does enjoy chai very much. And I thought she might get a kick out of these. So you're going to get four servings in a box. The first one, I don't even know if I'm going to say it right, so maybe I shouldn't even try. Is it cardamom? Cardamon? 
instant chai tea latte just add hot water there it is right there you know if you know somebody that enjoys this how about perfect little thing to go in that stocking when you're like oh my gosh what do i put in the stockings the stockings sometimes can be the hardest thing besides if you don't want to do candy and fruit and nuts the stockings can be the hardest thing this is good till september 27th of 2025 so you've got plenty of room plenty of room for to leave it on your shelf for a while the other one is i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing this right either Maslea, Masala, Masala. Just add hot water again for servings. And this one is good until September 27th of 2025 as well. So, again, if you know someone that likes these types of teas, perfect a little something to add maybe to that Christmas gift. I know I'm talking about Christmas, but it's going to be here before we know it. And we don't really Easter shop, well, we kind of do for baskets and stuff. You know, Halloween we do, but, you know, I think Christmas is such a gift-giving time of the year. Obviously, we're shopping for others. Um, and if you have a ton of people on your list, these little things can definitely help. The other two items that I wanted to share with you that I should have shared with you over by the beauty section, but I didn't. And uh, these will perfectly pair along with the Alice in Wonderland because here she is herself. And again, these are Disney's Alice in Wonderland. They're calling this a body scrub, but it's like one of those little puffs. And there she is right there. So you got this and then um, you have this. How cute would all these little makeups be? Oh my gosh, adorable. Last item I'm gonna share with you tonight, this morning actually, is this cute little kitty kitty. Look at this one. And on the front of this tag, it says, everyone here is mad. Everyone here is mad. There it is right there. There's your Disney logo on the back. Super cute. There she is. All right, everyone. That's going to wrap up this late night or early morning, depending on what coast you're on. Um, until next time, thank you all so much for all of your support. I really do appreciate it. A big hug from me to all of you. Squeeze! Until next time, everyone, have a wonderful weekend, but I'm sure I'll be back. Bye for now.